Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you another lecture of tactics so in this lecture i have started with a question which is very easy but the upper limit is square root of 5 that will make difficulty for you start the question by multiplying this here we have x square minus so now we shall start the question here we have x square minus 1 raised to power 1 by 2 x square minus 1 raised to power 1 by 2 its differential is 2x we have x so just multiply with 2 make it 2x and we know that if we multiply it we also divide it here and the lower limit is 2 and upper limit square root of 5 now we can apply the power rule x square Minus one raised to power one by two plus one over one by two plus one, and the upper limit and lower limit will remain the same. Two and square root of five. One by two plus one by two is three by two, and here we have also the power of x square minus one is as. 3 by 2. Now we can apply 2 by 3. The range of integers. And now we shall apply. Here we have x square minus 1 whole power 3 by 2. And after minus we shall also write x square minus 1 whole raised to power 3 by 2. So now we shall put the values of upper limit first, square root of 5, and then lower. Now it is very easy. Once again, you can watch this. We have integrated as we did in the previous exercises. Also, you should watch the lecture one of this definite integral. And now, after that, we shall apply the upper limit and lower limit. Upper limit first and lower limit after. And there is minus between them. So here we have two by three square root of five cancelled. It's five. Minus one raised to power three by two. Two square four four minus one three. Three raised to power three by two. So one problem of us have been solved. No square root there. Just take power now. Two by three raised to power four raised to power three by two. Three raised to power three by two means square root of three whole power three. So. We can take here three into three into three. That is three cube and whole power one by two. Here also we can say that four into four into four whole power one by two. Here we have three and here is under root three remains. Here it is sixty four raised to power one by two. It means sixty four square root. Which will be equal to eight. So that will be our answer. I have made that you can do it without calculator. Now go for the second question. So here is the second question of today's lecture. We have x minus one over x whole square. So we know that when we have whole square, we shall expand it. Here x square. Plus one over x square, a square plus b square minus two ab, which will be two. So here we shall separate x square dx. One over x square means x raised to power minus two dx, and two out of it and one dx. X square integration we know x cube by three. X minus two integration, x raised to power minus one over minus one, and one's integration x. Now. Take one of one by three out of it. One by three x cube minus x raised to power minus one. One over x minus will be shifted here, and here we have x. Now we shall put them two. One over x one by three minus one by two, and x three minus two. Now just now just send Mr. Calculator to solve this. Here we have one by three. Three cube twenty seven two cube eight. Not difficult calculation. Take LCM two minus three, and here very easy three minus two one. 
So very interesting question. 1 by 3, 19. 2 minus 3 minus 1 plus 1 by 6 and minus 2. 3 2 are 2 19 are 38. Plus 1. 1 6 are 6 2 are 12. 39 minus 12. 27 by 6. Very easy question. Now we shall go. So in this question, uh, we have x square plus 9 and we can do it by substitution. But that is very long method. We should not do by substitution until the question paper it is given that to solve it by substitution. So it is easy to take with the formula of x square plus a square 1 over x square plus a square integration 1 over a tan inverse x over a. Here a is 3 and x is x. Simple x square plus 3 square 0 to 9. So we should apply the formula. I am writing the formula here 1 over x square plus a square dx a equals tan inverse x over a plus c. So here definite integral, there, so there will be no c there. Very simple, 1 over a tan inverse x over a and here applying the limit. Okay, so here upper limit is 3, I have written 9 mistaken, now I have corrected it. So here, now we shall apply 1 by 3, tan inverse, 3 by 3 minus tan inverse, the lower limit is 0, tan inverse 0 by 3. So we have 1 by 3, tan inverse, 1 minus tan inverse 0. Tan inverse 0 is 0 and tan inverse 1 is pi by 4. So our answer will, will be pi by so here guys, the last question of today's lecture, x plus 1 by 2, x square plus x plus 1, you certainly know that, what is the function? x square plus x plus 1 is the function, plus x so plus 1 raised to power 1 by 2 here, and its differential will be x square 2x and x1, 2x plus 1, here x plus 1 by 2, but if we multiply it by 2, then we can get 2x plus 1 easily. Here also we shall put 1 by 2 and our limits are minus 1 and 1. Right? Now, here we have 1 by 2 x square plus x plus 1 raised to power 1 by 2 and multiply with 2 we have 2x plus 1 dx. So now we can apply the power rule 1 by 2 and here x square plus x plus 1 power 1 by 2 plus 1 3 by 2 and upper limit or lower limit always there now just apply the values here the question 1 by 2 multiply by 2 by 3 and we shall apply now values on x square plus x plus 1, upper limit minus 1, upper limit 1 and lower limit minus 1. Here we have now 1 by 3. First of all we shall put value 1 and after minus we shall put value minus 1. Here 1 square plus 1 plus 1 and here minus 1 square minus 1 plus 1 so we have 1 by 3 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 minus 1 minus 1 cancel only 1 so the answer is 2 by 3 and see you in the other lectures also I am not making so extended lectures so that you may watch the full lecture of 10 minutes or 12 minutes and in those 10 or 12 minutes, you can easily watch four questions, understand four questions. And if you want to learn more, you can go for the next lecture. Till then, Allah is.